Hey, it's Tom with Totemus from these seminars, and I get asked from time to time, actually quite often, how in the world did that work? How in the world does treating the opposite side or opposite direction or uh, into ease help? How does it work? Um, and I said, look, let me get you first to experiment with it, right? But let me break it down to the very simple co common sense kind of stuff. And that is, look, when you go to lift up a arm in abduction, let's just say it doesn't work. You may or may not know it, but you're either lengthening tissue or shortening tissue. You're either taking a joint where it is trying to go already, like it likes, it's easy to go in that direction, or you're taking it, trying to put it back anatomically in the position you think it needs to go into. So you're either pushing where it likes to go or pushing back where it doesn't want to go, which may be still anatomical. So if you just think about it, really, you are going into where it wants to or going in where it doesn't want to. So when I get, pick up into abduction, it doesn't want to go that way. So if I treat that way, just recognize, hey, I'm going in the direction, trying to fix what it, in a direction it doesn't want to go or that it's restricted. So I'm going to try to use restriction to fix restriction. Okay. I'm going to try to use um, my joint doesn't want to go this direction, but, it, but it's not anatomically correct or anatomically aligned. If I don't, so I'm going to try to push it into anatomical alignment. Or it's going this way. I'm going to see whether I can go in where it wants to go. All right and keep going with it, maybe it does a neurological reset. But what does all that mean? Let's just, let's just give you a know-how and tr test it out for yourself. So you can't go into AB, abduction, right? To do your traditional stuff, do two sets of into abduction, rest for a minute, see whether it gets higher. Then think, okay, this was the tissue that didn't, was length, trying to lengthen. How can I shorten this tissue? You can do abduction, two sets of 20. You could do some trunk bends. That's what I recommend. Do two sets of 20 side bends. Or lift up your right leg, if it was your right arm, because that'll help shorten this side. Do two sets of 20. After you get done with one of those three exercises of two sets of 20, recheck to see what happens here. All right? And let me know, okay? And with that, typically 50% of your patients, you're going to be like, wait a second. You're telling me I've been going into restriction on so much of what I do. And instead of jumping to an other exercise, I could just try ease and see what it does. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And if you want to know more of it, go to totalmotionrelease.com. You see it happening um, actually on the opposite side, using the opposite side to fix it. But again, the opposite, I don't want you to think, oh, that's some woo-woo stuff. Because how else could I shorten this tissue that's here? I can't go this way. Look, I can pick this up by lifting this up. It shortens this tissue. Might look like I'm doing the opposite side. I'm exercising the opposite to shorten the injury. Cool. And there's lots of different motions that actually allow for shortening to happen that you're not uh, aware of right now. And so hopefully in the end, you'll go back, go to look at totalmotionrelease.com, see a lot of the videos and say, wow, this is really cool stuff. And you want to take one of our seminars. But until then, experiment away with what I just showed you and let me know how it goes.